With the holidays over, we were looking forward to a bit of a break, take a week off, and reintroduce ourselves to our children. How silly of us. The last month has been really hectic. Yes. And I think I've turned gray overnight from all the stress. <laughs> but I think that's just because I haven't touched my roots up. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I think that's what it is. It. So yesterday we woke up to no power. Right. And uh, we determined it was. Our outside Christmas lights. So we figured that out. And then today, the power went out again. Again. And this time, the basement was flooded. Yeah. There's been so much rain that uh, the water table is up to our basement, basically. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear the wind, yeah. I think. That's a, well, it's a little bit. It's nothing like it was before. Yeah. It seems to, the wind seems to come in the middle of the night to wake us up, and then it dies yeah. down during the day. I don't know. Is that some sort of wind phenomenon that I don't, I, I don't <laughs> we're know. not aware of? I don't like know. the darkness makes the, <laughs> the wind angry or... Yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so we've been dealing with a bunch of crap for the past two days. Yeah. We're standing in a completed guest room. Yes, we are. Yay. Woohoo. Woo <laughs> <laughs> so what does that mean? It means we had guests. Yes. So the guests were here, the guests have left, the guests enjoyed themselves. Yes, they loved it. Um, it was my cousin and her family and they had a nice time. We... For those of you who are new around here, we began this project back in July. Here's the before and finally the after. <laughs> The original plan was to paint the wainscoting black, but when we saw the armoire next to it, the colors just didn't look right. So I had to repaint.
this little table was a brocante find, and I think it fits perfectly. It's marble top. And I think we paid like 80 euro for it or something, but I, I love it. And this sofa is a little too small for this space, I think. So we have a gray leather sofa, which is longer. And I think we're going to move it, but I don't know. I'll live with this a while and see. Like I said, I usually like to tweak rooms. And then this painting above the sofa fits the color scheme, I think, with the, um, the side tables. So I think I might test this room out tonight. I haven't slept in here yet. So I think um, tonight's the night. I'll be hanging out in here. So for the closet, we have two closets in this room. I opted for something super bright because I find usually insides of closets are quite depressing and boring. So I went ahead and um, painted it this sort of a celadon color. And I think it turned out nicely. It's unfortunate it's such a dreary day that you can't really get an idea of the color. And all the closets have their own keys, so. You hear the rain and the wind. I just noticed my sheets are wrinkly here. You won't tell anybody, right? <laughs> and these are the set of side tables that I purchased at a brocante and painted. And I think they look much better. It really adds a little bit of a pop of color. And I really love the fact that we added the molding to this wall. It really adds just a bit of interest to a big old plain wall. This is just a photograph of some rooftops in Paris that I took. And then a photo of our LA. It's hard to see with the glare. And we've had this bed for many, many years. This bed we bought in Connecticut along with this table. And they're, um, they're handmade reproductions of uh, traditional you know, New England furniture. Um, so we love this bed. This is a beautiful bed. And then this is our brocante find, our armoire, which I absolutely love. I'm so happy we bought this. We added a, um, we added a, what's that called? A thing. What is this called? My mind is uh, blanking. A rod, we added a rod. That's what it's called. The big thing in this room is we do not have the electrics for a chandelier. Right. We for some have, reason. This room does not have one. I'm not sure why, no. but we can add that. Yeah, but 
It's not simple, but we can add it. Yeah, so it'll be added at some point. We have a functioning bathroom. Mm -hmm. Well, two, actually. Yeah, two. <laughs> it's not finished, so we're not going to reveal it. Not yet. Not yet. A few finishing touches need e to be done. Well, yeah, more than that, but well, yeah. Mm -hmm. More than a few finishing touches. Well, we'll just call it a few finishing touches. The paint color for the bathroom has been chosen and is one of the colors you see here. I'm not going to tell you which one. Feel free to take a guess, but it will be revealed next time, I think, unless I change my mind. Fluffy, I think you have a future in commercials. You're very obedient. Look at Fluffy. As usual, Waffle rang in the new year a bit early. Mimi is the former barn cat who came with the chateau. She lived a sad life in the winter, but is now an indoor cat. She was diagnosed with skin cancer and recently had electrochemotherapy. Unfortunately, there was a slight setback. The chemo left a scab to form over the affected area, which is normal, and would eventually fall off. She somehow managed to get paw to nose and prematurely removed a large chunk, leaving her with half a nose. She will look slightly different, but is looking better already. She won't be bothered, but I certainly had a major panic and a good cry. She's back to playing and being affectionate, but I'm just gutted about the whole situation. And we won't show you until she's fully healed. We've set up a Mimi cam in the Grand Salon where she's holed up so we can monitor her. Can you hear that? So, we have a leak. Delightful. Which is something we've known about for a bit. I'm so angry. What's happening is there's a keystone on the exterior of the chateau that um, is falling down. So as the, the rain whips through, you can see it dripping up top. You, you can actually see that the keystone. We have to put some mortar in there and fix it and lift it up. So that's a project in the spring. Um, we have to have the cherry pricker come and someone get up there and fix the... A friend of ours will repair the stone. It's something we've known about, but it's just, it's gotten worse. So this is unfortunate. When I was filming this video in the guest room, I looked outside and saw the donkeys just standing off to the side of the field in the rain. So naturally, I asked Lincoln to go out to try to lure them back into their donkey house. He's trying to get them to move, but they, they, they don't want to go anywhere. They're just, look at this weather. Okay, so he's moving with them. They don't want to go anywhere. No, they're not having it. <laughs> this is terrible. They don't want to go.
Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.